Good afternoon. We interrupt this CBS special report of Attorney General Jeff Sessions because President Donald Trump is arriving as we speak here in Wisconsin. As you've been hearing, Sessions testifying in front of a Senate panel investigating Russia interference in the 2016 election. You can continue watching that on our website, CBS58.com. But we invite you to stay with us on air right now as we watch Air Force One arrive. This is President Donald Trump's second visit to Wisconsin since becoming the 45th president of the United States, a state he credits with helping him secure the White House. Yeah, he left Washington, D.C. about 90 minutes ago, and as you can see, Air Force One just touched down moments ago. We will be standing by for the president's comments if he makes any at the airport. Until then, though, we return you to the testimony of Jeff Sessions. This is a CBS 58 special report breaking news. We interrupt uh, the regular programming on WMLWDM to bring you a visit by the President of the United States to southeastern Wisconsin. We want to take a live look right now from Mitchell International Airport. There, the President will visit Waukesha County Technical College in Pewaukee. Not only will his daughter Ivanka be with him, the Labor Secretary and Education Secretary will be with them and Governor Scott Walker, also part of the group. And once they get to WCTC, they're going to tour several classrooms, including an integrated manufacturing center there, a state-of-the-art facility that allows students to learn skills and trades that would lead to employment. The group will then hold a roundtable discussion with local students and CEOs of several local businesses. Again, the focus, Wisconsin-centric. Of course, the issue of creating jobs contentious in Wisconsin as well. Governor Scott Walker, as many see him getting ready to launch yet another campaign to be reelected, is being held to promises he made uh, that he would create a certain number of jobs. Um, Scott Walker saying not too long ago that he believes as governor, he has fulfilled that obligation of creating those jobs. The problem, as he sees it, is that there aren't enough qualified candidates to fill the jobs that businesses are creating for folks in Wisconsin. That's right, Michelle. The whole skills gap issue is something that's been discussed for years, using sort of Wisconsin as a testing ground of sorts. Well, no doubt, Reince Priebus from uh, uh, Wisconsin uh, and working uh, with then candidate Trump uh, focused on the importance of Wisconsin and it will continue to be the subject of debate whether the Democrats really gave enough attention uh, to the state of Wisconsin during the campaign. Uh, certainly President Trump and his vice president Mike Pence also recently here uh, not too long ago, um, you know, thanking Wisconsin but also seeing it as a critical uh, step in what they're talking about representing uh, the average worker. And of course, it, it's not only just job creation, but also uh, affordable health care, uh, sustainable jobs, uh, uh, tall orders that many administrations have tackled and that Donald Trump plans to tackle as president starting today here with this visit. Also well, and it explains why the Labor Secretary Acosta would be also appearing with the Education Secretary, Betsy DeVos, who is a critical part of this equation, and why they're targeting the technical colleges. It's a lead, really, I think, that was established, some would argue, by Governor Scott Walker, uh, who began several years ago saying that we need uh, qualified uh, candidates who don't do the traditional a four-year degree and instead focus uh, on these uh, technology-driven jobs that are, are in industry, but mm -hmm. it's not the typical assembly line job that, that we remember having or our grandparents having. Uh, it, it's a high-tech job, very computer-oriented, and so much of the focus when we hear about science and technology and math and, and getting American students to really excel in these endeavors, it, it all t kind of works hand-in-hand. Hand. And we've heard this from many different parties, uh, many different stakeholders in the community. What will be interesting to see if this visit could in any way bring people who are maybe not Trump supporters into the fold to work in some way with the administration and maybe with the Walker administration uh, to try and get the tangible results. That's so true. The job landscape has changed. Briggs and Stratton, uh, Mercury Marine out of Fond du Lac. And, and these uh, are all companies mm -hmm. who have in the past been involved and for years during presidential campaigns actually and gubernatorial campaigns have said we need a higher a skill in the potential candidates that we have coming out of high schools today in order to give them these good family sustaining jobs. So this is something we have heard for years in Wisconsin. The question is, will President Trump arriving 
fortify that call and actually get us over the hump to actually seeing the kind of changes that it would take to get people the paychecks they want. Exactly, no doubt. And should alert you, all our viewers at this time uh, that now that Air Force One has touched down at Mitchell International Airport, there you can see the door is open. So we are waiting for the president uh, and his traveling companions to emerge at any time. But now that Air Force One has touched down, uh, they will be planning the route that the president uh, and his motorcade will take uh, to his Pewaukee stop. And that will mean there will be sudden mm -hmm. road closures. Uh, of course, we can't give you any advance notice on that. That would be a breach of security uh, when we talk about protecting the president. But we should let you know that as he prepares to travel from Mitchell International Airport to Milwaukee uh, to Waukesha, that there will be road closures that will emerge. So it's something you need to be aware of uh, while we have this visit uh, from the executive branch. We see another door opening. Looks like we're getting very close. And the first order of business here, Michelle, is going to be uh, approaching the microphone and talking about health care. And this is a strategy we've seen before uh, with administrations. And here we now see President Donald Trump arriving in Milwaukee. Some faint clapping in the distance in the tarmac. <laughs> and again, a number of members of his cabinet are with him. The Labor Secretary, the Education Secretary, I'm not sure if Reince Priebus was on board that flight, but he is uh, scheduled to be with uh, him as well. And uh, of course, Ivanka Trump, I believe, is, is also there. So uh, again, you have members of the Air National Guard, Milwaukee's Air National Guard, the 128th Air Refueling Wing there to greet the president at uh, their base. And uh, he will then be approaching the microphones to start talking about health care. This is CBS 58 News special coverage on WMLWVM, our sister station, where we also have a nine o'clock full hour long newscast here as we continue to monitor the developments in Wisconsin, taking front and center in the Trump administration's plans to reform health care and create jobs. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Well, there you have it. A proud moment, no doubt, for the Stahl family of Kenosha to have the president take up their cause. Um, reporting that their premiums doubled under Obamacare, also known as the Affordable Care Act. Uh, the personalized way President Trump is reaching out via Wisconsinites uh, to hopefully pressure the Senate to pass the replacement to Obamacare that was sent to them by the House. A relatively large crowd, considering how hot it must be on that tarmac at Mitchell International Airport. Uh, we heard phrases that the president has used before um, to appeal to people. You know, they love their country, they played by the rules, but their premiums still went up under the Affordable Care Act. Uh, this way to uh, evoke to the very core of an individual, I'm doing what I'm doing, I should be able to get more from my government. You have been watching live coverage of the president's visit to southeastern Wisconsin here on WMLW, the M. We have crews not only at the airport, Waukesha County Technical College, but also downtown Milwaukee, where tonight's fundraiser is going to be held. We've got you covered from all angles, and you can watch our coverage beginning in just about 40 minutes from now on CBS 58. Followed by the CBS 58 News at 5, 9 right here on the M and again at 10. This has been Breaking News here on WMLW.